EA Sports and the PGA Tour are proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, from Olympia Fields Country Club in the great state of Illinois, live third-round coverage of the BMW Championship. Rich Lerner here in our tower overlooking the 18th green. Frank Navalo is by my side. Out on the course, we've got Noda Begay III and Iona Steven as we check the Saturday leaderboard. Cameron Young from Wake Forest is your leader. He sits at 10 under par. Meanwhile, our featured golfer, still within shouting distance, five shots off the pace. Has to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five. Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. And that'll do just fine. Just six feet left for the birdie. Ah, that's going to slide by to the left. Good work to get into that position, but couldn't finish it off. Okay, that's in for par here at the first. And they'll remain right where they are. And that one gonna wind up in the bunker. So now a tough second here out of the sand. Now that's actually a pretty good shot, really. I know that's uh, not exactly close to the hole, but out of the fairway bunker, safely on deck. Yeah, not quite a gimme, but that's pretty good. Okay, that one finished off for a par. And they're going to stay right where they are. And that's going to wind up a little straighter than the first two drives. It's in the fairway here at three. Walking the course today, let's bring in Nota Begay the third. 151 yards to the hole, pin in the back. Well, had a good look at the green, but couldn't hash it in. In the rough now, wondering what might have been.
That one finished off. It's in for par. And they'll remain right where they are. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. Second shot. Good look at the green. Well, I'm not going to rag on the shot. It was a good strike. But look where the flag is. It's on the other side of the green. Not that time. Pretty good effort, but it'll wander a couple of feet by. Okay, that one finished off. It's a par here at four. And they're going to stay right where they are. Well, that one's finished in the first cut. It's going to be a little bit harder to spin it from there with a little bit of grass around the ball, but uh, still not too bad. Oh, pumped up there. That's a little too long and consequently going back down the hill now. Going to require some touch. Okay, that one finished off for a par. And they'll remain right where they are. I like the looks of this one. That one, safely on the putting surface. A straightforward look here for Birdie. Okay, nicely played. That's in for Birdie here at six. And with it, they'll move the six under par. will do just fine. That's a decent sized green. It's not bad, just a little past the hole. Ah, uh, yeah, well 
then it's back-to-back -back birdies here on this front side. And they'll move to seven under par. That one gonna wind up smack dab in the middle of the green. This would be a big bonus if it went in more than likely just trying to get this one close. That one just lacking a little bit of pace, but not bad at all from there. Okay, good roll there. It is a par here at the eighth, and they're gonna stay at minus seven. This will work nicely, just right of center, and that'll be fine. Now a second from 173. And that ball looked very good in the air. Just doesn't quite finish up that near to the flag, but still on the green. there but not quite on target just the tap in there for par at the ninth and that finishes off a strong front nine it's a 33 two under par And this, a tee shot that fits the eye, and that'll be just fine. Second shot upcoming, down to Noda. Looking at 149 to the hole, pin all the way on the right. And a good approach shot, just not quite as close as what you'd like, but still solid. Pretty big left to righter here for birdie. No, kind of underread that one, and it winds up missing below the hole. So that's in for par to start this backside. And they're going to stay right where they are.
that had to be in the rough. The whole way, one more bounce back on the fairway. In my book, that's a good shot. You can really aim at the middle of just about every single green. If you did it all day long, some of those would finish up close. And you'd have plenty of birdie putts. That one just going to sneak on by. So that rushed in for par here at 11, and they'll remain right where they are. Ah, solid, good drive in the fairway. Second shot coming up. Note is down there. Looking great here at 111 left to the hole. Pin sitting on the left half of the green. This is a good looking gap wedge. Very nice shot. Uh, it was a good strike. I could tell that by the uh, sound as the ball came off the club face. That little bounce and check. Well done. Good opportunity lost there. That one safely in. And it's a par here at 12. And they're going to stay right where they are. A very sensible play there, right in the middle of the green. Speed down the hill, going to be critical here on this putt for birdie. Quite online, and that'll drift a couple feet by. Okay, safely in for par here at 13, and they'll remain right where they are. Good work off the tee here. That is safely into the short grass, just left of center. Little uphill to this green, Frank. And this is looking really good. I always looked inside that 15 feet circle. Anything inside that was going to be a good shot. So in my book, that's a good shot. Mm, nope, couldn't get that one on target. That one finished off. It's in for par. 
And they're going to stay right where they are. Yeah, nothing a fault there. Good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole. So in the fairway, but a pretty good number to carry here for a second to the par five. That second shot got all the way down by the green, but in the bunker. So we'll have to see what the explosion shot can do from here. We really need a birdie right now. Yeah, big explosion. Got it to stop quickly, and that will be a birdie opportunity coming up. And that one finished off. It's a birdie here at 15. And they're going to get it now to eight under par. Boy, this is just way too much club for a front hole location. That was completely overcooked. Way too good, I must say. That was uh, just smashed. Yeah, sizable putt left. Not an easy one, 20 feet away. Uh, maybe a look to the heavens here. That didn't need much more. Okay, well, in for a bogey at 16. And that'll drop them back down to 7 under. That one going to split the middle. Maybe get a little rollout as well. That is a good, solid tee shot. That one is running so hot.
for 10. That one finished off for a par. And they'll remain right where they are. And that will be more than adequate. It's safely into the fairway. Oh, that's nice. Ball landed softly. And that's why it's a good decision, really, when you think about it. Ball sitting in the rough, not too bad. You want it to land soft, so the flop shot. Good decision. Okay, a good putt. Able to save par here at 18. So for our featured golfer, some good playing and some favorable scoring conditions here on this Saturday. But they'll look up at that leaderboard and see... They're still well back. But I think the goal really is to try and shoot back-to-back -back great rounds, Rich. Uh, if anything better than that, maybe leader takes a stumble. You can't control.